Hey there Huskies, it's Rachel Brotman and I wanted to take a minute to show you how to navigate LinkSpring, which is our virtual professional development platform. I right now am logged into Clever. Um, Clever is kind of our portal that we can get to a lot of the programs that we use at Trustful City Schools. Um, when I scroll down under the staff section, I looking at all the icons here and I see the LinkSpring icon. LinkSpring's learning cycles all have four components. Um, it has a, starts off with a spark video to get your attention. Uh, it has a reflection piece where you kind of evaluate where you are already on the topic and do a little bit of learning about the topic. There is a tinker document that you fill out to make a plan to implement your new learning. And then there is a grow component where you come back and share how that implementation went in your classroom, uh, the impact it had on you and the impact it had on your students. So I'm looking at my dashboard right now. And on my dashboard, I have uh, different learning cycles that I've started and how much of those learning cycles I've completed at the bottom, it has a list of the learning cycles that I have completely finished. And here in the main section, it has suggestions of learning cycles based on learning pathways I've shown interest in. So if I see something that catches my eye, I can um, select it and start that learning cycle. Let's say that I wanted to continue work that I've done in my Padlet learning cycle because I'm wanting to find ways to have my students brainstorm together digitally in the classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to this one that I have been working on. If I couldn't locate it on the dashboard or sometimes we're assigned a cycle and maybe it's not showing up on the dashboard, that's okay. You can always search for the cycle using a keyword up in the search bar. So I'm going to put in Padlet and it should pull up the learning cycle that I had started. I'm going to click on it and then I can continue work. When you get to the cycle, uh, you're always going to start off with the spark, which is just a quick little video. Once you've completed it, you get a little check mark and the circle will fill in solid. Uh, next is the reflect. You click on reflect. Um, it gives you some questions where you kind of think about um, your practice already and then has some information to help you learn a little bit about the topic. Um, complete that. It'll fill in there. The next uh, step is the tinker, and that's where you make a plan to implement in your classroom. So for this, this is a document um, that you can either download as a Word document or you can add it to your Google Drive as a Google Doc. Either way, it's a document that you're going to complete because you're creating a plan. And when you're done completing it, you will upload it back into LinkSpring. That's an important step that some people forget. So um, to download it, as a Word doc, you're going to click the download button. You'll see that it downloaded to my desktop. Or if I want to add it to my Google Drive, I click the Google Drive icon and it should add it to my Google Drive. We go, opens it up in Google Drive. So I can complete it here in Google Drive or I can go down and open the Word document, complete the document there in Microsoft Word. Once I'm done completing the document, my plan, I'm going to come back and click the upload button. And then I've got some choices. Uh, if I downloaded it, I can click browse, navigate to the Microsoft Word document, upload it back into, into LinkSpring, or I can go to Google Drive, browse for it there, and share it to uh, LinkSpring through Google Drive. Right? And then the final, and this little circle will fill in once you've done that. And then the final piece after you've implemented it in the classroom is your grow. So you click on grow and you'll share your, um, your experiences implementing it in the classroom. So what impact did it have on students? What impact did it have on you as a teacher? Once you have um, completed a cycle, if you ever need to go back and view the comments that you made, sometimes um, for our educator effectiveness, which is our um, professional growth plan we create each year. Sometimes we need to go back to that to remember what indicators you chose that year to work on. So if you ever need to do that, um, go back to your dashboard page and then you're going to go to portfolio. 
In your portfolio tab, you'll be able to see any completed work that you've done on any of the cycles in LinkSpring. So if you scroll down, um, you'll just look for the links. Any links that are lit up um, or hyperlinked are items that you have submitted and completed, and you can click on that to view them. Or uh, any links that are not lit up, that's a cycle that you've looked at but maybe haven't started or haven't completed. So those are pieces that you have not submitted yet. So you can go in and view any of the answers or any of the documents that you have already submitted by clicking on the Portfolio tab. If you need to change any of your answers, um, you will just go back into, you'll search for that cycle again, go back into the cycle as if you were entering it for the first time and go to the section that you need to change and then just redo that section. When you redo a section, it updates your portfolio. So whatever you had in your portfolio, if you've updated a new um, tinker plan, it will update it in your portfolio to the most recent plan that you have submitted. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions about LinkSpring, reach out to me uh, at rachel.brockman at trustfulcityschools.com.